Hello and welcome to another Ashley's Advice Tech Review. This is something I do not do often as I'm not someone who has a lot of gizmos or gadgets, but when it comes to specific things for filming, when I film in this room, I have had a few different pieces over the years. First was my ring light from back when I lived in the unit on my parents' property, and then came the stand that I'm using to film right now, and most recently I got a new stand for my iPad for when I'm writing or editing or things like that. So I wanted to make this video specifically because I got some new pieces for filming, which I'm very excited about. They were Christmas slash birthday gifts from my grandparents, but because the thing I wanted wasn't in stock in New Zealand during Christmas time, I then I had to wait until it came out. So very recently, just before Easter, she was able to pick it up, and that is the new little Godox mini light stick. This is something that I've wanted for a long time, as you've seen with the other cheaper one that my mum got a few years back. This is the real deal with barn doors and everything. I am so excited, and it's the only Godox light stick that has a connectable app, because when it comes to any other light stick you buy, from Godox, none of them connect to their app. It looks like this. As you can see, there are the barn doors on the front and a control panel at the back. Then you have a grip. Now this one, like I said, is the first one to have a connectable app. The app's been around for a while, but it's been for the other Godox products, not for the light stick but this is the first one that connects to the app, which is really exciting because I, as someone with a vision impairment, struggle to read the panel. I even did on the other cheaper one I had, which also came with a remote, but wasn't very helpful. Whereas this one connects to an app and the app has multiple colors. It has the entire rainbow. So there's so many colors to choose from for RGB lights behind me. It's also much, much brighter and Hopefully that means that it'll really light up the wall behind me, which I'm very excited about. And to go with this, my Nana also got me something else as well. She also got me a stand or tripod to go with the new light. So that means that like my ring light or this stand that I'm using to film on, it will allow the new light to stand up in the background. There is a place to connect the stand here at the bottom. And then also at the top, there's also one. So if you wanted to hang it from the ceiling or you had one of those ones that connects to your desk over the top or something. So it has one at the top and one at the bottom. The other ones don't connect to the app. They had remotes. And so that's why my Nana got this one. It was a bit more expensive, but she thought it was better for me to have the app as someone with a vision impairment so that I can use it a lot easier and I'm able to actually, you know, select the different things that I want, select it on or off really easily and change the colors and all of that, which I wanted to do. So I will show you how to do that once I get it all set up. It's now all set up and I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm just going to record my screen and I'm going to put it up here so you can have a look as well. I wanted to pick something that would make me stand out. Now I'm wearing white, so I picked purple because I thought that was a good contrast. And that's what I'm gonna do for future videos as well. I thought it would be really cool to have, like let's say I'm wearing pink, then I'd have like orange or yellow in the background, something that's similar, but also kind of contrasty as well. So it just really makes me stand out. And when it comes to talking about specific topics, like for example, when I broke my arm, that was a really scary story because it was so severe and, you know, I could change it to red and have it be red when it's like serious or, you know, things like that. You can play around with so many different other colors. There's a few different ones to choose from. And then there's also a spinny dial so I can change like how bright it is in terms of being like, oh, a more lighter shade or a darker shade and then there's actually a brightness feature here. I can turn the brightness all the way down so it's just in the one little corner and you know there's not much light or I can turn the brightness all the way up and it's now super bright because I have a vision impairment and can't see very well. By having the app I'm able to 
play around with things a lot easier and really see what I'm doing. She wanted me to be able to use it independently and all the other ones didn't have the full brightness. This one's the only one that has like full brightness. It's a mini so you can carry it around while you're doing like vlogs and things like that as well. It's lighter and it's really easy to use compared to some of the other ones out there. A slightly less purple as opposed to the other one I had which was a select amount of colors. This one is all of them so I can play around with the different colors and just play around with the barn doors to decide okay I want this more enclosed or I want it more open so like I can have it be almost completely shut. I'm still learning how to use it because it's brand new and I don't know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to using it yet but I've got it all set up it's in the background of the video. Now I have changed the layout of this room. As you can see, the desk is now over here and the bed is against that wall. But I think it still looks really good with me being a little bit closer to the camera. So I just wanted to say thank you to my grandparents again and let me know in the comments down below what you think of this for someone with a vision impairment having this really cool new app. I think that this is going to be a lot of fun and a really cool new thing from my grandparents. So thank you guys so much for watching and checking this out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!